Hello there, welcome to Virtual Idea Lab. My name's Larry Rosen from the Ajax Public Library. So glad you're here today. We are gonna do another activity that makes you go, hmm. And um, we're gonna talk about it. We're just gonna, this, this one is a, is a fun one. Don't wanna do it alone. So I'm gonna go into the waiting room and see if uh, there's somebody that's, but that would like to join me. And I think there may be somebody who is coming from the waiting room. And let's see who we have. It's a, is it Tiffany? Hello, Tiffany. Can you hear me? I am not able to hear you yet. Hello. It's showing the name of Tiffany. <laughs> it's good to see you. How are you? I can't hear you. Maybe the, are you able to turn your, the sound, the audio button on the bottom? It says um, audio on the left on the bottom. See if there's a little button there that says audio. You don't see it? It's okay. You can listen to me if you want. You don't have to turn it on, but there's a, if you like, there's an, there should be an audio button on the, uh, the bottom left. Let me just see, make sure I have all my settings right here. Yeah, I can see you, but I cannot hear you yet. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if we can get this working. Looks like you're still connecting. No place to unmute. As long as you can hear me, I'm gonna go ahead and do the presentation and um, maybe we'll get it uh, going in the middle. Um, it's just a, for some reason, you've done everything right. You've got the mute, uh, the mute is turned off. So I should be able to hear you, but for some reason I'm not hearing, hearing you, but that's all right. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the presentation and I'm just gonna share the screen. And if you wanna chat, just say something in the chat box ask me a question or anything in the chat box and I'd be happy to answer, okay? All right, so I'm just sharing the screen. Um, hopefully you can see this page. This is um, just a little note that to let you know that this event is being uh, recorded and it's gonna be posted on the Ajax Public Library's YouTube channel uh, for future viewing. And if you wish that you do not wanna be included in the recording, just let me know. We can turn your camera off um, and then we would hear you through audio. Now, obviously your audio is not working at the moment, but um, we just wanted to let you know that uh, you, you always have that option to turn off the camera and just watch if you want it's totally up to you, okay? Excellent. Okay. So my name is Larry Rosen, and again, welcome to Virtual Idea Lab, and we are going to talk about my favorite subject today, which is music. And um, so just wanna give you a couple of Zoom tips. Um, 
there's two different ways that you can watch my presentation. One is with the gallery view and one is with the speaker view. If you have it in gallery view, then you can see both of us at the same time. And if you have it in speaker view, that means that whoever's speaking has the biggest video. And you can choose either one, the button's at the top. Uh, it says gallery view or speaker view. And um, you can also um, mute or unmute your microphone. Uh, you have done that, but for some reason, I'm still not able to hear you. Um, but you can still see me. Um, and you can also do the same thing with the video. You can turn that on and off anytime you like and still be part of the conversation. Okay. And um, the chat, um, you can always chat like type a question to me and I'll see it, okay? So I just wanna make sure you are okay with uh, everything. Are you still okay so far? You can still see me, right? Okay, please turn off your camera. Okay, I, I'm gonna turn off your camera. That means that I will not be able to see you but you can still see me. Is that all right? Okay, I'm going to turn off. Um, I'm going to turn off everything. There you go. Now, can you still see me? and hear me, and you can still hear me. Okay, thank you. I will continue. All right, so we're gonna talk about music today. And I'm just gonna go back to that screen, that screen share, because I wanna just tell you a couple of things before we actually try to create a song. So did you ever ask yourself if you have the ability to make music? Do you think you can make music? Uh, do you think that only some people have this ability to make music? I think you're gonna be surprised after this activity because everybody can really, does have some kind of ability to make music. We're gonna make some music here today and um, and it's pretty easy uh, once you get started. And um, so let's think about this for a moment. So if I sing a note, I either sing up or down. Okay, so you take a song like um, Pop Goes the Weasel. Da 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 da. You know that song, Pop Goes the Weasel? Well, if I'm singing it, I go da 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 da. I'm I'm going up like da 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 do re mi do re mi fa so. You're going up, right? And, or I could go backwards la 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 la. You're going down, okay? And it's this up and down movement of the song that we're going to be focusing on when we create our own song. Okay, uh, let me just get the chat in here just because I'm not seeing if you're typing anything. Just give me one second here. Just wanna make sure that we are communicating. It's not letting me see the chat while I'm sharing. Just give me a sec. Okay. So I wasn't sure if you were chatting or anything, but anyway. Um, so what I was talking about was when you when you hear a song, uh, the song the notes in the song are going to go up or down. La 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 la. 
la 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 so when you're when you're singing up you're going to go up la 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 and we're going to be able to do that with this piece of software that i'm going to show you okay i'm going to demonstrate it right now and then you're going to be able to go on to this and do it uh yourself and try to create your own song okay so let me bring up that page and um show you what I'm talking about so you kind of know how easy it is. I'm just going to go share and find, there we go. And I'm going to share this. This is a website that I'm going to ask you to go to, but not just yet, because I need to show you how it works. Okay. It's got a lot of little squares in it. And this is what we're going to use to make our song. All right. So for instance, if I click, see where my mouse is over here on the left. If I click the first square, turn up your volume and listen to the sound it makes. I'm just going to click right here. Now my computer is a little slow, so let it, give it a sec to catch up. Let me try that again. Here we go. So if I click here once, every time you click a different one, a different square, it makes a sound. And when you click the play button down here, watch what happens. Okay. And then the blue line goes all the way down and then it's going to, start again it'll whatever you have clicked it's going to play all right when you press when you press this one of these colors it goes away like one two three it's gone okay are you with me so far um now this is how we're going to make some music because if you take a song like um uh we we got um Pop Goes the Weasel or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, let's, let's stick with Pop Goes the Weasel. Da 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 da. It's going up. Da da da. So we go. Da da. Da 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 da. Oops, I pressed the wrong one, so I'm going to press it again to take it off. And then I'm going to press here. So we've got purple, purple, orange, orange, dot, 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 dot. Let's see what happens when I press the play button. Dot, 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 dot. Now we're not finished yet because the song goes dot, 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 dot. Okay, so I'm going to press the stop button at the bottom left here. And then, so we've got Remember the song notes, they go up or down. Da, 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 da. It's going up. Da, 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 da. So if it's going up, there's the next up. Da, da. Da, 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 da. See, it went down. So I pressed some of the down squares. So let's see when we press the play button, what happens? Okay. Da, 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 da. Now I'm just going to stop share for a moment and see, because I just want to chat with you for a moment and see uh, if, uh, Am I going too fast or is it okay so far? Just want to make sure that you're with me. <laughs> no good. All right. Okay. Because you're going to get to do this very soon. You're going to get to go on this website and you're going to get to try to do, the, do it yourself 
um, and come up with some really nice tunes. So I'm going to go back into the go back into it now and show you something else. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll just go right back into it. And when I want to start a new song, there's a restart button right here at the top right. So I'm just going to press that and everything goes away. And that lets me try again. Now, if you look, there's a line in the middle, like a blue line right in the middle here. That is where we usually start a song, right on. That's usually where we start the song because that's usually the, the key of C and that's kind of usually a starting point. Um, if you'll notice, oh, that took a long time between when I clicked it and when the sound came. <laughs> so my computer's a little bit slow, but usually when you click on whatever square you click on, it should make a note. Okay, and you can, you can uh, actually drag notes like this. And then when you press play, and then press stop, you have to press stop or it'll just keep playing. <laughs> uh, but that wasn't a song, right? I mean, anybody can just kind of drag and make a song. Um, but I'm, uh, what I wanted to uh, tell you is that you can do that but you can make your own songs in your head. Whatever you're singing in your head, you can put in this, uh, in this song maker. Um, so for instance, if I'm singing um, la 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 la, then I could play that by going la, 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 la. And if I'm singing the other way and I'm going la 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 then it's so easy i would go la 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 <laughs> okay whatever's in your head can go right into this and then when you press play your song is you have written a song And it will just keep playing until you press the stop button again. Now, what if that song was too fast? Maybe I wanted it to be a little slower. So, and if you want to do that, um, that's very easy. You just put spaces between it. So I'll press restart at the top right here, and I will go press it, put a space between each one so it'll go like this space space oh made a mistake space space la 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 and then to go back down it's la space la oh made a mistake la space oh made a mistake Oh, made a mistake again. It's okay to make mistakes, okay? <laughs> la, la, la. Oh, but I wanted a space, so it's got to go there. Right, space. Oop. Space. Okay, how do you think this is going to sound now? Let's hit the play button and see. That slowed its song down a little bit, I think. And uh, you can also change the instrument. Right now, at the bottom left, you're seeing, uh, you're hearing a marimba. But if you click on it, you can turn it into a piano. So when you press play, You are playing a piano.
Did you know that you could play the piano already? With this, you can. <laughs> All right, let me stop share for a moment. And you're using your iPad to access the website already. Oh, cool to try. Yes, absolutely. Um, so you have the website already. Do you need Do you need me to show you what the website is, or do you have it already to give it a try? You. Um, I'm gonna give, oh yeah, you already have it, okay. So take a few minutes now and see if you can come up with a song in your head and then try to put it on um, in, the, in that uh, program. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to hear your song, but I hope you'll be able to do it. Take some time and there's no rush, okay? While you're doing that, I'm going to work on another song. Oh, I hope that you uh, record some of uh, your music and post it on our social media. We would love to hear uh, some songs that you create. I have a finished song here. I just wanted to show you while you're working on your song. This one is uh, Frere Jaca. And this is, if you were to do the song Frere Jaca, this is how it would sound. You see, that's a Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, Dormez-vous, right? That's a song. So if you were to do it in Song Maker here, these are the squares that you'd have to click. And you can do, of course, everybody knows, happy birthday. I think I've got that one here. See that this happy birthday does not start on that, in that square that I mentioned, this key of C, that starts lower. Because, happy birthday to you. It starts lower. And um, see, there's where the middle C is. This one starts way lower, so it goes like this. Oop. Here we go. See, and again, just remember when you're doing this, if you're singing in your head high, then you would click a higher square. La, 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 you're going down. La, 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 okay? It's so easy. And you may not get it right the first time, but that's where you get to keep trying and eventually you figure it out. You don't have to do other people's songs. You can do, um, you can make up your own song. And, and because you made it up, it's your song. And um, you get to 
uh, it's your song and you can save it. That's the other thing is that you can save your song. Uh, I think there's a save feature there. Yeah, and you can play it back anytime you want. Are you still working? Oop. Okay, sorry. Just give me one second. Are you still working on your music, or did you want to see a couple of more new features? New features? Okay. So, in addition to what I just showed you, uh, there are other things that you can do on that same web page. So, I'm just going to go to that page right now. And if you click on the um, this arrow on the left, the top left, it brings you to um, the main page of Music Lab. Um, and when you get to the main page, you're gonna see about six different activities. And it's coming up right now. And um, one of the activities is the one we just did, which was called Melody, uh, no song, sorry, Song Maker. That was the first one we did which is the top left. You can click on any one of these other activities and do a different activity, okay? So for instance, if you like drums, the second one here is called rhythm. And if you click on that, this will, once it loads, it will let you choose different kinds of drum beats. Um, that you might want to use for songs. And it's still loading, so... Um, there we go, there's our monkey. A monkey with the drums and a monkey's playing the, um, the triangle. The, the triangle is an instrument. And um, so, when you press the play button right now, there's a play button in the middle. Without doing anything, this is what it sounds like. Okay, I just pressed stop. If you wanna add uh, drum sounds, you can press one of these dots here. So if I press uh, in the second line, the top one, Oh, that's gonna make a triangle sound. And then if I press in the middle one here, that's a different kind of drum sound. And here, if I press the top again, oh, that's another triangle. This one already has one. And then this one, I'm gonna press the bottom one again. So then when I press play, let's see what happens. So you can experiment with different beats um, that you can use for various songs. And then if you click the back button, brings you back to the home page again. And um, so we did Song Maker and we did Rhythm. And then the third one here is called Spectrogram. Spectrogram. And spectrogram is uh, music with pictures. So what happens if I press, for instance, the harp? Let's see. So, Every time the harp made a noise, it made a nice picture. Uh, but you can also make your own pictures if you press this guy right here, the little hand. Um, 
So let's try to make our own music. I'm going to just drag it and watch what happens. That's kind of cool, wouldn't you say? <laughs> that is really cool. You can also do it with your voice too. And I'll show you one more, and then I'll let you do uh, the, the rest on your own. Uh, this one's called chords. And chords are just notes that are played together and they sound really nice when they're played together. How are we doing? Were you able to um, come up with some nice music so far? It's going to take some time, I know, to get used to how, how each of them works. So I hope that you um, enjoyed this little introduction to how to make music. And uh, if you feel like it and you want to record, uh, record a song that you have made and you'd like to put it on our social media, we would love to see it. If not, it's not a problem. But I just want to um, say, do you have any other questions about how this software works? Do you, you have the website, right? So you can go back to it anytime and you can save your work. And... Um, is there any other questions that you have? Just check in the chat box here. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you had a good time. We're gonna be, do, we do this every week, a different activity uh, for, with Idea Lab, and we hope to see you again next Wednesday. At 6.30, we'll have another activity for you and hope you have a great rest of the evening. And, um, and stay safe, take care. Bye for now.